another car review and today we're in a 2010 Corvette C6 Grand Sport. Now the funny thing about the Grand Sport is that the original one wasn't even for public consumption and the second one was a 96 model for the LT4 option and then this is a 2010 which of course is the one that we're in right now. Now engine wise nothing really changed from the base C6 you still have 430 horsepower and 424 pound-feet of torque or just a little bit more if you have the active exhaust which this one does have although it doesn't work because it's on loud all the freaking time <laughs> upside for getting the Grand Sport is of course you get a bunch of extra handling bits one thing is of course the brakes you get the Z06 brakes you also get lowered suspension and shorter gear ratios as well wider tires which explains how good this thing just holds this road and is the power not enough system is that it doesn't use all the oil in the bottom like a conventional engine does it has a separate tank which means that the oiling is consistent all the time get on these brakes here real quick it's a little bit more than usual oh that's such a nice pedal feel here I start back there and I'm already at where I need to be <laughs> now the clutch on this grabs really really high so it's kind of a an interesting thing to get going. <laughs> Man, this thing pulls so, so nicely all the way to 6500 RPM. It's just red line on the tachometer here. Now, with the Grand Sport, you get the wide body from the Z06. The thing that you don't get is the aluminum frame. This gets a steel frame, so this is a little bit heavier. It's 3,400 pounds, which is still, you know, granted that it makes that much power, not that bad. It's actually quite light. Talk about performance figures. Zero to 60 is a four second car, and a quarter mile is dispatched in mid 12 second range, which, you know, it has more than enough power. Just drive around and get on it. <laughs> Man, this is just all smiles for me right here. And that's another cool thing that I love about Corvettes. They've always been this affordable way into getting into a V8 car that just hauls. And this, if you put your foot in it and you keep your foot in it, it'll do over 180 miles an hour, which is very nice speed. Interestingly enough though, the base car is faster, but that's because this is a wider car, so it just has a little bit more drag than the regular car has. Now there's one thing that I haven't done in a bunch of reviews. Let's see if we can uh, make that happen. Whoa. Yes, it sounds amazing. Oh. oh, yes, yes. It's just a little taste of what the people on the outside of the car hear. And I heard it, and it is good. Now, if you talk about the styling, I dig this car, because if you put this next to the base C6, it's just wider, way more mean. It has that Z06 look, but you still retain the better drivability, because the Z06 is just on edge. <laughs> that is just 
so much fun. You're just in third gear, just letting it ramp up, and then you punch it, and it just moves. Now, I didn't feel just the tiniest bit of a shimmy there, but, you know, it does not enough to make me feel worried at all. When you talk about the interior, I think it's a little bit on the cheap side. When you look at the outside, you're like, oh, yes, and you go on the inside, you go, no. But you don't buy this car for the interior. It's like a GTR in that regard. You don't buy that car for the interior either. You just buy it for hauling ass. The one thing that I would change on this car is the seats. I feel like I'm spilling out of them and they just need a little bit more bolstering. They just need to be a little bit more aggressive. quiet right now it's eerie it doesn't give me any static either so well a little power out of the turn in third that sounds good now most of the power is in the top of the rev range which is interesting because it's still a Porsche Prod V8 6.2 liter most of the horsepower comes in at 6500 rpm which is right there and the torque comes in at 4200 rpm this car is not stock, it has a Heltec intake, it has headers and an X-pipe, so you can already tell <laughs> from the review that it's a little bit louder. So it probably makes a little bit more horsepower than stock. Now one thing that I do notice is that there's kind of an annoying drone at 60 miles an hour, but it isn't as bad as some of the other cars that I've driven. One thing that I'm super impressed with is just the way this car handles the road. It is super smooth, it is not too jarring at all. You go into cars like these expecting that they would be, but it just isn't. It's plenty capable, but it also soaks the bumps up pretty darn good. So I talk about the drone, here it is. We're about 1400 RPM, about almost 60 miles an hour. And that's another cool thing about this car. We're at 60 miles an hour and we're only running 1400 RPM, which explains the good gas mileage you get in this car too. 26 miles to the gallon on the highway. It's 16 in the city, which, you know, it's about on par with the rest of the V8s, but to get 26 miles to the gallon on the highway in a car like this, I think is stellar. So another cool thing is that it has a Targa top, so you can take it off, you kind of get that convertible feel to it. Now it does creak a fair bit, you probably heard a bunch of creaks, but it is forgiven because the car is just so good. I really enjoy driving this car and the ability to take that Targa top off so you can drive like a convertible is amazing. Now, conclusion on the car, I think that this is just the best value for money if you want to have a V8 car that has a decent amount of get up and go and also a ton of modability because these engines, these transmissions, they hold up to a bunch of power adders just fine. 600 wheel horsepower is not an issue at all. second here Simon thank you so much for letting me review your C6 Grand Sport this thing is a riot it really is Woo! yes hope you guys enjoyed this car review and as always I'll see you on the flip side not that fast but I mean no it's it, quick it's quick enough but it's just fun it's just there's just a fun factor to it and dad dad loved loud cars like he just loved obnoxious loud American cars he 
loved the Mustangs. He loved the Corvettes, Pontiacs. I took him to Cars and Coffee, and and I was all looking at the Lambos and stuff. And he's like, "Can we can we get done?" I'm like, yeah, go, yeah. No, but that's that's how I am. You know, I, I like the Lamborghinis and supercars, but when it comes to like American, like especially the old school American muscle, that's just my jam. That's mm -hmm. that's just where I'm at. That's I love that stuff. Whoa. <laughs> that clutch. Dope. <laughs> yeah, those 370Cs, they're pretty nice. Mm -hmm. And people are like, you, I hate the straight pipe VQ. I love it. I don't, I don't, like I don't care. I don't care what you, th what you say. I still love it. Yeah, I like it too. I don't know why though, because usually when the people straight pipe cars, it sounds like absolute butt, but somehow that VQ, it just, yeah, it works for me. Wow, man, uh, thoroughly impressed with the C6 Corvette. Really? This is and you've nice. driven some fast yeah, cars. I'm, I'm driven, <laughs> you know what the problem is with fast cars? They give you that, oh crap feeling, but they also give you that, oh crap, I'm out of control, but I'm still kind of in control. It's not a comfortable, this, super comfortable experience. Gave me that little shimmy when I went from second to third, uh, a little further oh, yeah. over there, but nothing to the point that I'm gonna like, oh crap. Like I drove that uh, that uh, 350Z, was an automatic, I got on it uh, from a dig, and it just started doing this, and it went worse and worse. <laughs> and worse. Like, okay, guess I'm gonna have to get out of it now. Tires were also crap on it. This, these are Michelin, so you know, I, I'm not worried. And then you see, G meter saying saying 50. I think I saw 55. Car's good, according to paper. For one, or ish around. So you could go twice as fast. I don't think twice as fast, but you could go a lot faster. This is, the, by the way, a super weird thing. You have to push. Like I'm looking for a <laughs> handle to pull. I'm stuck. It's not opening. Oh, is it because we're on. You gotta unlock it. Oh, 